Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Win Stuff. This week, we have on our members of Panhellenic. So awesome. I just want to make sure I said that right. But we have on two contestants. So I'm going to ask you guys to introduce yourselves before we get started. Just tell me your name, your year, your major, where you're from. And, well, actually, scratch where you're from, what sorority you're a part of, and then what your favorite sorority event is. Hi guys, my name is Abby Weaver. Um, I'm a senior here at Elon. I'm majoring in strategic communications with minors in leadership studies, Spanish and sport management. I'm a part of Kappa Delta at Elon. And what was the last question? What's your favorite sorority event? My favorite <laughs> sorority event is Stroll Off. And do you want to explain that a little bit? Yeah, sure. Stroll Off is when uh, Panhellenic organizations partner with one of the NPHC fraternities, Alpha Phi Alpha, and they teach us how to stroll, which is a part of their culture, but it's awesome that they get to share that with us, and we get out of our comfort zone and learn a little bit about NPHC. Awesome. All right. Hi, my name is Sydney Abel. I'm a junior. I'm a comm design major and a minor in sociology. I'm an Alpha Chi Omega. Um, my favorite event, I mean, there's a lot that I really enjoy. I help um, create our events, but I would probably say our um, cakes and pies event because we get to like go around and like it's like kind of like crazy because everyone's all like trying to like make sure everyone gets everything they need and they order people like buy tickets and then you go and people will get like um, a slice of cake or two slices of pizza and you have to get all the orders together and everyone's like kind of in the kitchen like preparing everything and then we have people um, in all the acapella groups come and sing while we're hosting the event so but yeah it's it's a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started with round one. For this round, we have three categories, music, TV, and movies. Abby, since you are closest to me, I will let you go first. So just read off the title of the question, and the titles are hints, by the way, and then we will move from there. You do have three hint tokens, these regulation hockey pucks, of course. Um, they will grant you an additional 10 seconds for any question, as well as a hint from me. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. All right, Abby. Can I question. please do hello? Yes, you can. Which artist recently revealed on Instagram that they are dating Rich Paul? <clears throat> Abby. Adele? Correct. Pick Gosh. again. Could I do Giselle, please? Yes, you can. The sequel to which movie musical recently finished filming? Five seconds. Are you allowed to repeat the question? I am. The <laughs> sequel you. to which movie musical recently finished filming? If we've got nothing, I'm going to move yeah, on. Totally fine. All right. It is Enchanted or Enchanted oh, 2. Okay. A classic. Okay. I, it is a classic. I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> I played the DS game religiously as a kid. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> I like how new this information is. <laughs> I'm going to walk away so much more. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, hey, that's what we're here for. Thank you. But Abby, pick again. Can I do Entertain, please? What comedian and actor hosted this year's Emmy Awards? Oh my gosh. Absolutely devastating. Five seconds. <laughs> Did we not watch the Emmy? No, I didn't watch the Emmy. I was happy to see Ted Lasso win, but I didn't. Wait. Oh, yes. And the Emmys are my Oscars, but we're going to call it. <laughs> that is Cedric the Entertainer. Oh. oh. No, no, I didn't know he did that. That's yeah. awesome. And think again. <laughs> um, could I do blonde? Which artist carried a green robotic baby at this year's Met Gala? Frank Sydney. Ocean. Correct. And pick a question. Oh, okay. <laughs> All oh. those. Oh my gosh. Scary. Oh. Okay. I'll do Incorporated. Okay. Which Disney Plus show based off of a Pixar movie will be getting a second season? Five seconds. <laughs> You know, so it's okay. Well I'll go ahead and It's okay. Yeah. Monsters at Work, which is oh. based off of Mar Monsters, Inc. Oh. Yep. Why did I not know about that? I know. This is I embarrassing. I barely remember it. I'm not going to lie. I'm so sorry to any Monsters, Inc. fans out there. Yeah. Monsters no. at Work fans. Apologies. I just, not on my radar necessarily. Monsters University. Who's my Kappa? Who's my Kappa? Um, Cindy, pick again. Okay. Mm. One okay. Of, one of them's already up. I was going to say, I'll pick the middle one, too. Okay, so don't do the middle one. You can if you want. Okay. So um, um, what was it called? That me goes to. I'll yeah. do 127. Okay. They are known for their... Mm, sorry. Which K-pop group recently released their album Sticker? Poppy. I only Abby. know one K-pop group, BTS. Incorrect. I know. Oh, my gosh. That's no, the only no, one? No, 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 wait, I know. I don't. 
Five Five seconds. seconds. I know. I might have to go ahead and call it. it you call it. It's NC127. Yeah. NCT127. I don't, yes. I'm not a, a, a K-pop person. <laughs> I'm not either, but I saw it on like Instagram because mm. I like follow mm. like all like the updates on Music. celebrities. Gotcha. Sorry. All right, well, Sydney, pick again. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'll do Mad Max. All right. Which two actors are rumored to be dating after being seen cuddling at the Met Gala after party? Not cuddling. Cuddling? Um, Never mm, that. Okay, I'm gonna take a guess. Sydney. <laughs> um, Billie Eilish Incorrect. and Timothy Chalamet. No. Incorrect. That would be revolutionary. They were. They were, <laughs> I would know about they that. were totally spilling some tea, though. They were like, like sitting next to each other, like totally <laughs> spilling some tea. <laughs> For five seconds. What? I'm gonna go ahead and call it. It's yep. Channing, Channing Tatum and Zoe Kravitz. Oh. oh yeah, my God. I also did not. I, but wasn't it like at the that. after party though? Sorry? I thought it was at the after party. Yeah, it was. Oh, so, that I mean, does count. <laughs> Doesn't count. <laughs> Fake. <laughs> Sydney, pick again. Uh, okay. Um, life's so fun. Okay. Um, which electronic pop band just released a single with Phoebe Bridgers? Five seconds. <laughs> I can't believe I don't know. I it's don't okay. Know. The it Farbs is. are coming after me. <laughs> Not the Farbs. It's M U N. M-U-N-A. I don't know if that's how you say it, yeah. okay. but that's how I'm going to say it today. Uh, pick again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Tickets to my downfall. What rapper turned pop punk artist got into an altercation with Conor McGregor at the VMAs? Oh, 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 oh. MGK. Yeah, yeah. MGK. MGK. <laughs> Correct. Yes. Pick again. Um, speed. Which DC superhero movie was just teased by its director on social media? Abby. The Flash. Correct. And pick again. Can I do Live from New York? Yes, you can. Beck Bennett just has left the cast of what NBC live sketch comedy show? SNL, Abby? Saturday Correct. Night Live. No, you're good. Um, definitely heartbroken. Yeah. Especially because he left that, his part. I was like, yeah, I saw that what are we Instagram. doing? Yeah. What is, is this who we are? Right. That's this tough. is not the original plot of this movie. That's Anyways. Tough. Abby, what happened you. to the original plot? <laughs> what happened to the original plot of oh, the, the movie? movie. <laughs> <laughs> I said the same. Time. Yes. Um, can I do double B, please? Yes. Which actor from Shadow and Bone at least released mm, the signal 11? Sing you I'm going to try that again. Which actor from Shadow and Bone know. released the sing single 11 11? You know what, I'll just go ahead and yep. call it. It is Ben Barnes. And with that, oh we are at three for Abby and two for Sydney. And we will be right back with more of round one. It's okay. Yay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this episode of Win Stuff with our friends from Pan Hell. So we're just going to keep going with more of round one. Um, Abby, I think you got the last question right. Sure, could I do yeah. Waka Waka, please? <laughs> yes. Which famous artist was recently attacked by wild boars? Abby. Shakira. Correct. And t crazy. Yeah. You hate to see it. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> her. They like stole her stuff, apparently. Mm -hmm. It's like... Not the boars stealing stuff. That's not, hysterical. Not Shakira. <laughs> not from Shakira to a national <laughs> treasure. They should put some respect on her name. Anyways, Abby, big again. Toxic, please. Which thousands pop star was recently freed from her conservatorship? Try that again, Abby. Britney Spears, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I was trying to see if it would work, and then it wouldn't, so but Could but. I do two bros again, please? Yep. Yeah. Well, well, who was recently announced to play the voice of Mario in the Super Mario Bros. movie? Abby. Chris Pratt. Correct. Controversial. Controversial, yeah. The rest he, of the cast looked all right. Him? I, all the Italians somewhere screaming, even though they don't exist because Italians are fake. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I always have to work it out. Italians are fake. Yeah, hot takes. Get the chance. <laughs> hot takes. They're not real. Hot takes. <laughs> Here from Winsta. Um, um, <laughs> Happy again. Can I do Punisher, please? Which singer-songwriter released a cover of Bo Burnham's That Funny Feeling to benefit Texas abortion funds? Sydney. Phoebe Bridgers. Correct. And I'm going to listen to that as soon as we're done here. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Well, hopefully I'm redeeming myself from the, bar from the farbs. <laughs> okay, from the last round. All right, we'll so, again. okay, red light, green light. What TV show features characters playing children's games but with deadly stakes? Sydney. Squid Game. Correct. Still haven't watched it. Me neither. I have no intention of so watching it. So good. I assumed okay. that that where that was going. So good. Yeah, I know. hated I just, the ending, but I won't spoil. I've, I've also heard that the ending is absolutely devastating. 
And I don't know if I'm mostly capable yeah. of handling that right now. Like, anyway. I finished sex education, and I was like, <gasps> yes, no. Yeah, I, got, I got a little left. Yes, I got yes. A little so, left. we're trying our best to recover, but yeah. Abby, or mm, just kidding, Sydney. Yes. Again. All right, hello. Okay. <laughs> um, hmm. Butter. Okay. Coldplay collaborated with what K pop group in their new song, My Universe? Is it BTS? Sydney. Yes. Correct. Yay. I know. The one that you are. Yep. It's like better. <laughs> no, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Next song. Sydney, pick again. Right. Uh, get educated. Gillian Anderson plays a therapist in this Netflix series. Sit, Abby. Sex education. Correct. Oh, I was just sorry. About it. No, so you're okay. She's We're in the crown, too. She does it all. We oh, love yes. her. Oh, yes. We love. Shout out to Gillian Anderson. My mom loves She her. won the Emmy. And I yes. Was like, yes. I saw the Emmy question who won the most. Like, what show? The crown. The crown. The crown and also the Mandalorian. So. Oh, is that the song? They got. They uh, both tied for the most amount of nominations. So. Wow, good for them in the morning. Mm -hmm. yep. Interesting. I know. We need Fun more Pedro facts. Pascal space, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> Abby. Yes. Could I do Folksy, please? This band just released a music video for their new song, Bright Side. Five seconds. <laughs> I'll do a hint. Okay. I guess. This band also sings Ophelia and Cleopatra. Whoa, that did not help. <laughs> oh, wait. Ophelia, you've been on the um, 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 Five seconds. No. You got going there, but no. it's okay. Time's up. Yes. It is the Lumineers. All right. Oh, okay, um, good. Abby, pick again. Could I do do glance down? What upcoming Netflix movie will star Ariana Grande, Leonardo DiCaprio, Timothy Chalamet, and Jennifer Lawrence? Seen the trailer. I didn't know this existed. Uh, oh my god, I'm so pumped! But I don't know. What's oh called. my gosh. Wait, yes, I did. I just no. didn't realize it was this cast. But it's such a good cast. I'm going to go ahead and yeah. call it. It yeah. is Don't Look Up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> cool. I well, nearly said the one with like Selena Gomez. Like that's on uh, Prime, I think. Oh, the one oh, that was, um, yeah. yeah. The one about the, it's like the rainy mystery. day in New York. Yeah, yeah. with um, Steve, and Mar with Steve Martin and like yeah. that whole cast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like, one, a, one. I don't know what it's called. They're like in an apartment and yeah. they all listen to this crime podcast. Oh, and yeah. the crime I haven't seen it happens. Yet. Okay. And they're like trying to like, cover it using what they yeah. learned from their podcast. Interesting. But yeah, Abby, pick again. Could I do mom's spaghetti, please? Of course you can. What famous rapper is opening a spaghetti restaurant in Detroit? Abby. Eminem. Correct. And I will now suddenly have to go there. For the sheer fact of knees weak, arms are heavy. <laughs> yeah, just mom's spaghetti. <laughs> mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Abby, think, oh, so we are out of music questions, so we have TV and movies left. Could I do lawsuit, please? Yes, you can. Disney settled a lawsuit with which actress over the Black Widow movie? Abby. Sorry, Scarlett You're Johansson. Okay. Correct. And pick again. Winchester University. Mm -hmm. Which Netflix original series set at a college returned for a fourth musical season? Nope, nothing. Mm -mm. All right, I'm going to call it. It is Dear White People, and that is the end oh. of round one. Okay. Abby with nine, Sydney with five, and we will be right back with round two after a quick break. Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to round two of this episode with our friends from Han Hellenic. And before we get started, we are going to go ahead and ask another fun little icebreaker question. You can guys just tell me what your, oh, what do you have coming up for your sorority? There we go. I was, okay. my, my brain broke for a second. It's okay. But what do you guys have coming up for your sorority? And Sydney, I'll go ahead and start with you this time. Oh, coming up. Hmm. What's AKIO doing recently or soon? Um, well, we're trying to set up, um, we're trying to re like structure um, cakes and pies, like I mentioned last mm -hmm. time. But otherwise, we just have like I think um, another fun little like pop up thing where we're gonna like have I think a Halloween themed um, table with like snacks and candies, and I think we're gonna do something with like Oak House and uh, have like apple cider for everyone. Fun, awesome, yeah. and Abby. Um, our council applications are coming up soon. I serve as mm -hmm. Panhellenic delegate. I'm getting ready to lead that position and give whoever's taking over whatever they need oh to gosh. be successful. Awesome. Yes, so All exciting. Right. Yeah, well, we're going to go ahead and move on to round two then. So we have connections. I'll give you two people's names, and then you tell me what connects them. And then one-liners, I'll give you a quote. You tell me who says it and where it's from. I will say, also coming out of last round, since you had the most points, Abby, you did win the additional hint token in the middle. So, Sydney, you're going to get to go first this round. But do we have, do we understand any questions, comments, yeah. concerns, confessions? Mm -hmm. All good. I'm feeling oh. good. Perfect. Okay. Sydney, hmm. I'll do one-liner. One All right. The tribe has spoken. 
The tribe is spoken. <laughs> I'll go ahead and call it. Yeah. Okay. Disappointing, but it's Jeff Probst from Survivor. Oh. Whenever they eliminate someone, they always bring this their way. torch and the tribe is spoken. Stuff out the torch. I've never seen that show. No, me neither. I watch Elon or I follow Elon. I Survivor. know. It's My bad. It's bad. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Sydney, pick again. Okay, connection. All right. Jennifer Lawrence and Josh Hutcherson. Abby. The Hunger Games. Correct. Co stars. Shy. Do <laughs> connection again, please? Yes. Um, yes, yes. Will I Am and Fergie. Abby. The Black Eyed Peas. A correct. band. <laughs> uh, yes, correct. And pick again. Connection again. Feeling good. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher. They're married. Correct. Yes. Um, also, that 70s show. And I also have on my oh. card Do Not Bathe Daily. Um, oh my god, I saw <laughs> that. It was Wait, in the podcast, Armchair yeah. Expert. I listened to that. Yeah. And they brought up how they don't. Just, they don't shower. They don't use, I just like, need products. celebrities to stop telling me about their yeah. bathing habits. And Please, also, we don't need an Emma People Chamberlain situation that. part two. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that wasn't even true about her, even. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, just like... Like, I'm okay without knowing that information. Yeah. yeah. I lived a happy life. Didn't someone else also come out and be like, yeah. Several people shower. did. Like, yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal that started the whole and yeah. Kristen Bell. Well, and I was like, gross. Oh, that makes sense. I was like, please, spare me. Stop the violence. Anyways. Yeah. You guys <laughs> are too rich to be musty. Yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> you have such nice showers. Use yes. them. Yeah, yes. get them products. Um, connection again, please. Eric Dane and Hunter Schaefer. Oh. Sydney? Um, Euphoria. Correct. And pick again. Connection. Priyanka Chopra and Sophie Turner. Abby. Sister-in-law to the Jonas Brothers. Correct. And pick again. Connection. Margot Robbie and Liam Hemsworth. I know this. Crazy. Yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead and yeah. call it. It is they both got their starts on the Australian soap opera Neighbors. Oh. So, oh that's um, that's cool. Yeah. No. So a little bit of a deep cut there. But yeah. Yeah. You learn something um, new. You learn something new every day. Yeah. yeah. Abby. I'll switch it up and do one liner. All right. Pinot Noir, Caviar, Myanmar, mm, Myanmar Midsize Car. There we go. <laughs> can't read today. It's just impossible. I can't give you an answer for that one. I know. I'm going to go ahead and call it then. Yeah. It is Titus uh, from <gasps> The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Uh, oh, darn. Yeah. I love that. I show. love him. Um, <laughs> Think again, though. Abby? Connection. Let's go back where it's safe. <laughs> back to where it's safe. Timothy Chalamet and Ansel Elgort. They both went to LaGuardia High School in Why New York you know City. That? No, time out. <laughs> Why do you know that? <laughs> I love Timothy Chalamet. I, I and, read Call Me By Your Name and I like followed him since then. Yeah, I don't know him as well, but I know that they both, a lot of yeah. uh, superstars went to that show, or that school. Nicki Minaj went to that school. Other oh. celebrities probably went to that school, but those are the three that I know off the top of my head. <laughs> Cool. I'm so <laughs> impressed. <Thanks. laughs> I'm impressed. The fact um, that I knew the high school name too is like a little, a yeah, lot. Yeah, no, but. like you got specific. Like, that is exactly the phrasing I have on my card. <laughs> you actually wrote the card, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> have um, you pick again. Connection. Thomas Brody Sangster and Kira Knightley. I know they're British. That's about it. No, you can take a hint. Um, you want a hint? Oh, yeah. Okay. Go it, they both star in a romantic comedy set at Christmas time. <gasps> oh, wait. Christmas time. Oh Christmas God, time. The good. Line. I don't. I feel like. I feel like this is like too Five old for them. Seconds. I could. Oh. Make the guess. No. Make the guess. You um, grants on it. What is I'm it forcing called? You to make is the it guess. Love Actually? Correct. <gasps> <gasps> My parents are gonna be so proud of Thomas me. Thomas Brody Sangster was a kid in that he was, movie. Yeah, he was. Yeah, little. He was young. I was texturing it, but it yeah. wasn't coming. To yeah. Me. But Shay to Sydney, pick again. Okay, connection. All right, Shay Mitchell and John Stamos. Gonna go ahead and call it. Yeah. It is you. Oh wait, you're correct. I, I mean, obviously. Oh, I know I'm correct. Oh my gosh. I do like, in fact have it written down. But yes. <laughs> no, yeah, I oh I don't watch you, so I have I'm nothing so to say. I'm so excited for the new season. Is, but I didn't know new season's coming out soon. Yeah. But Sydney, pick again. Okay. Um, connection. All right. <laughs> William Jackson Harper and Kristen Bell. Abby. Co-stars in their show that I love, The Good Place. Correct. Oh, and pick man. again. Um, connection. Grimes and Elon Musk. Um, Sydney. Well, they're now separated, but they were correct together. I was got it. And pick again. One liner. Oh, switching it up. I volunteer <laughs> yes. tribute. Abby. Katniss Abby. from The Hunger Games. Correct. Or Jennifer Lawrence from Hunger Games. Correct. Let's do one liner again. That was fun. All right. Swing your partner round and round. End of the night. It goes down. Wait. 
Pitbull? Correct. Can I get a where? Oh, from a song that he wrote. Mm -hmm. ah, he oh, didn't. Can uh, I use a hint? Uh, it's, it's with Kesha. Uh, do you have a title for me? Um, 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 Timber. Correct. Mm, yes. Nice. I'll split that point. Um, oh, thanks. <laughs> Abby, you still get to pick again, though. Okay, let's do connections. <laughs> All right, Jack and Sally. Jack and Sally. Two basic names. I do know this. Devastation. Devastation. I'm going to go ahead and call it. It oh, is yeah. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. That was a scary movie when I was little. That's not scary. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I did not. No, like no. I mean, no, obviously, it is, but it is. obviously, yeah. maybe I just have when I was little. Yeah, opinion. that was a lot for me. But for me, it was that one book about like the girl with the rainbow stripes because she didn't hear lima beans. Yeah. That one always got me. But we all have our things. Yeah. We all have our if things. If someone said Coraline was scary, then I'd be like, okay, fine. Yeah, Coraline but. makes more sense. But we are out of connections, so okay. we're gonna go to one-liners. Perfect. I shall call him Squishy, and he shall be mine, and he shall be my Squishy. Abby. Agnes from Despicable Me. Incorrect. Um, 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 oh my gosh. I also was going to guess that too. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and call it. It is Dory from Finding Nemo. Oh, yeah. Anyone? <sighs> just kidding. Um, we are actually going to go ahead and end round two there. Congratulations, okay. Abby. You are our winner for this evening with 22 points and Sydney with 12. And we will be right back with round three. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our final round of this episode of Win Stuff with our friends from Panhellenic. So again, Abby, congratulations on winning. So we're going to move into, again, our final round. So for this round, I'll ask you two questions, and you just tell me next yes or no for the responses. Make sense? Yep. Awesome. All right. So our first question is, was this celebrity in Greek life or not? Jennifer Garner. Yes. Correct. Meghan Markle. No. Incorrect. Jake Gyllenhaal. No. Correct. Reese Witherspoon. Yes. Incorrect. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yes. Correct. Um, Courtney Kardashian. No. Incorrect. Chris Rock. No. Correct. Carrie Underwood. Yes. Correct. Brad Pitt. No. Incorrect. And Ashton Kutcher. No. Correct. And our next one is, is this celebrity on TikTok? Jessica Chastain. Yes. Correct. Timothy Chalamet. No. Correct. Dolly Parton. Yes. Correct. Jack Black. Yes. Correct. Betty White. No. Correct. Will Smith. Yes. Correct. Zendaya. No. Correct. Billie Eilish. Yes. Correct. Nick Jonas. Yes. Correct. And Chris Evans. No. Correct. And that was actually a perfect run on that last question. Congratulations. Thank and you. Sydney, if you will come back. So I forgot to mention that if you got 15 or more of those correct, then you got an additional prize. And congratulations. You got 16 out of 20. Whew. Just so we have two prizes here. These are the main prizes. We have the Mean Girls game. And then what do you mean Office Edition? Oh my gosh. Fun. You get to choose which prize you want. Right now, right here. Right, right here, right now. I hear my name. I'd like to do what do you mean off its edition, please? Awesome. All right. I'm just going to, I'll drop the bag. And then you also have this little, uh, little fidget, fidget toy. thing. Oh, yeah. Cool. I'm going to slide this one down since that is a slideable object and that's for you. Yay. Thank and there you. There you go. No problem. So how are we feeling? Awesome. Swell. Yeah. This was Love super fun. It. Love to hear it. Awesome. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and just to wrap things up, ask you guys, what advice do you have for first years that are looking to go through Rush? Either one of you can start. <laughs> Whoever has the best answer already prepped. Um, I can start. You're a senior. You yeah, as a senior, bet on both sides, sister and um, first year, or if you're rushing as a sophomore or junior. But yeah, I would say just be yourself, be honest with yourself. If you need a break, it's kind of a long, emotional draining process, but Pi Kai's are there to help you. People are there to help you. So just take time that you need because there's no need to put additional stress on yourself. I know it's tough. Awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. I would say, um, you know, a lot of people going through recruitment are usually kind of like, like this feels like a last minute resort to like find friends. Mm -hmm. And I, I understand that can be like nerve wracking. And like you were saying, like it's tiring and it's a long, it's a long set of days, but go into it like not expecting like certain something. Like for instance, like, I mean, like look for people that like, you bond with that you have good conversations with look for people that you feel like you could tell personal things to that you could see yourself being friends with them for the rest of your college career and for the rest of, of your life pretty much so awesome let's okay. say yeah. Like that. yeah that was great thank you guys so much 
And I, again, hope you guys really enjoy that. I hope you enjoy your prizes after this. And we hope that you guys at home also enjoyed this episode. And tune in next week for another round of Win Stuff. To find out more about Win Stuff, visit elonstudenttv.org.